Drivers Championship. They're vying for that trophy, the Paul McDonald Memorial Drivers Champion. Let's go upstairs for the race call in behind the Newnham Petroleum starting gate, and here to kick it off is Vance Cameron. And Zula with Campbell. Kidham Image in Barrio, Roxy Lund, Hay Shepherd, Lorne Valley Barb with McPherson, Hamak River Cruiser Dowling, Elm Grove Mixty and Kelly. I can do it with McNeil, Nancy's girl Marner. Post time. Rough and pacing, Lorne Valley Barb shoots out from the middle to lead them into the turn. And Zula got away second, third now between horses. Roxy Lund away fourth at the rail. Kid of Image from the outside fifth. Hamak River Cruiser away sixth. I'm called Misty. Seventh, I can do it. Then the trailer. Nancy's girl, they're on the back stretch, led by Lorne Valley Barb for Corey McPherson. Two hole ride, and Zula with Mark Campbell. Barrios right lining early with Kid of Image on the move in the outside third. In at the rail, Roxy Lund races fourth for Stephen Shepard going wide fifth. That's how Mac River Cruiser and David Dowling. Then in sixth, it's Elm Grove Misty with Dave Kelly. Back into seventh, I can do it for Donnie McNeil. Trailing eighth, Nancy's girl and Adam Murner, the quarter up 29 and one. They approach the opening half mile. On the front end, it's Lorne Valley Barb, the leader. Committing herself and caught out is Kid of Image, second. Third up the rail, Angela, how Mac River Cruiser. There on the outside, fourth, Roxy Lund, fifth. Racing from six is Elm Grove Mixie. Back into seventh, I can do it. Nancy's girl on the outside is eighth, the half, and 58 and three. To the back stretch they go, and it's Lorne Valley bar by two. And Zula second. Moving on to be third is Hamak River Cruiser. Roxy Lund is fourth. Then in fifth, it's Elm Grove Mixie. Packing it in six is Kenna Mimich. At the back, I can do it. And Nancy's girl, the three quarters and one, 28 flat on the turn for the final time with an eighth to go. Lorne Valley bar by four open. How Mac River Cruiser has taken over second. And Zula third. Elm Grove Mixie fourth. Deep in the stretch in the first seat of the driver's challenge, Lorne Valley, Barb, and McPherson go all the way. Second is Helmack River Cruiser, and Zula held on third. 156 4. Well, Kurt, we mentioned that uh, just before the pre-race, she's had a real nice year uh, when you look at her stats for a uh, three-year-old uh, campaign. She got into a good spot here today. Uh, Corey was very aggressive, wanted the front, and really she took it right off the wings here today. Oh, for sure. She's been a good uh, filly this year for Heffernan, uh, over 16,000, like we mentioned there, and gets McPherson here today. McPherson's a great driver, and he gets, especially first time McPherson, they seem to respond really well, and he put her right on the front end. Uh, control things 29 and 158 and 3. Barrio, very uncharacteristic, pulled early there, uh, very impatient. He got on the move early, and Kidam Image just didn't have it here today as McPherson and Lauren Valley Barb were up for the challenge here today, 128 to the three quarters, and kicked home 28 and 4 for a mile of 156 and 4. That is a new pacing record for this three year old filly in mid-November. A great effort from her to kick off the driver's challenge here today at Red Shores. Now returning from the second race, four is Lorne Valley Barb, back facing Philly Tree by Articulator off the Pro Bono Backstam, J.J. Takor, owned by Barry McLeod of Cardigan, trained by Miles Heffernan, Jr. Corey McPherson in the driver's seat put the Philly on top at every call, facing to a new race win record. 
of 156 and 4. Lorne Valley Barb wires the second. 